All right, we got another freebie um, off the same guy that gave me the Honda. Um, she's a 19 inch Victor Tornado with a four stroke Briggs and Stratton on it. I usually wouldn't even waste my time with these bases, but the top corners aren't cracked and rusted out of it. Um, it's got some other issues though. That's just surface rust under the coating there. Our con bar's bent. Our back axle is rusted into the bushes, which I've got spares, so that's not a huge deal. Anyway, main thing is, we'll see if this big donk goes. Uh, I just rolled it on its side, but at least we know there's oil in there. When I checked it earlier, it was on the minimum mark, so. We'll put some fuel in there. Cap smells like very rank fuel and see if it does anything. Our throttle cable's broken. <clears throat> I'll put him on about there. certain religious group. Let's find something else to play with. So we've just got half a litre of diesel in the sump now. Just gonna run it for around about a minute and tip it out. Engine's not up below, diesel is working but can't hurt what's already hurt so we'll see how it comes out. I'm starting to think a lot of that knocking noise is some of the teamwork because it sounds pretty good at the moment. Right, oh, let's make a mess. Probably completely out of view now. That is the mess from the bottom of the sump. So it is washed out soot and there is some metal there. But I was encouraged by the lack of internal knocking just then. So anyway, that engine's going. We'll find something else to play with for today. It's a one-way trip to the top tip this time, buddy. All right, second contender for the day. Um, probably get too carried away on it. I'm just going to replace these handles with some that aren't benton on the piss so i found this one at the local tip probably about six months ago and it's just been sitting at the front of the shed ever since um heat's good frame nice wheels victor two stroke pulls over all right so yeah we'll get some handles on and we'll go through it so apart from being really dirty and she's complete. The top cover's a bit. Um, how you going? We'll get around there in a sec. I'll see there's a split in the back of the carb housing there. It's all there though. Um, chuck fuel in it first or wash it first. I like to sort of get get a good picture of if something's going to run or not before I spend any money on it now because I've blown parts into the wind before to find that I'm stuck with something that's crap so I should have a new top cover floating around probably won't have that decal though bottom cover's got a hole in it 
could have been where it was just dumped on its head at the tip. Same as the handles. Let's just see what happens with a little bit of fuel chucked in. Find all the leaks anyway. Probably because I can't get air pressure in there. Any life? Obviously we've got a few few little issues here. This housing either got blown off or popped off and it backfired. Possibly dirty spark plug. Um, I find when they've got a fair bit of carbon on them they can do that backfire sort of thing. Also found it when there's been a bit of water in the system which is entirely possible as well. So I might just pop this top cover off and um, give everything a wash and then work on this carb a little bit. Oh, I'll give this 10-15 minutes in the sun to dry off and we'll have a closer look. Righto, got new O-ring in there, it's cleaned out, new back housing on it, um, I haven't pulled it apart, um, just as a sort of getting things done a bit quicker, but if it's not running right it will come apart, I do need this machine as a, like a test dummy for some parts we've got coming, so the most part today I just actually want to give it a run, um, Notice when I had the part, the needle in there is a non-original one, so that might cause us some grief, might not. But in saying that, I'll get this plug out, give it a clean, and see if I can find a better top cover. Just waiting to see if it's going to piss fuel everywhere. So I didn't have a spare top cover here anyway. Um, I'll clean that off in due course. I did have a lower half though, so that's got a new one of them on. 
Um, our carb seems to be okay for now. So I'll just get an air filter cap. I'm not sure if I've got an air filter on hand. That's pretty shit. Um, find a cleaner air filter, put a cap on it, put it in the car and we'll take it for a spin. There we have it. Still obviously needs some work, but um, we'll come back to that. But all in all, she's not a bad runner. Just needs basic tidying up now, which I'll get to in the next video. Thanks for watching.